This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. They just have a database on all of the students' information? That is creepy! Ooh. That's supposed to be Sachi staring up in the ceiling. That's a nice effect. When I open my eyes, I'm staring up at an unfamiliar ceiling. I'm not even... I'm not even going to try to narrate Sachi and her voice. The lights are off, and there's only faint illumination flowing in from the window. But as my eyes grow accustomed to the darkness, it doesn't take long for me to realize that I am in a hospital. <laughs> Kazumi-san must have carried me here afterward. And judging from the tuna fish man figurine standing watch at my bedside, Maki-chan and the others paid me a visit. Yeah, no one else would bring that. Kazumi-san and I played together as children. For a time, he was a very dear friend to me. I realized as much some time ago, but I don't believe that knowledge prompted any dramatic change inside me. Therefore, I had assumed the same was true for Kazumi-san, that he had realized the truth long ago and simply decided to keep things as they were. But in reality, he never associated me with the girl he knew back then. To him, the usual place was somewhere else entirely. The thought makes my heart ache. <gasps> Oh, guys, it's time for best music. I've been waiting for this song to come on. This song is called Deadlock, and it's amazing. For some reason, when I close my eyes, I see Kazumi-san's sorrowful face looking down at me in the playground. And as I remember that moment, the vice gripping my chest grows gradually tighter. <laughs> Hmm. The more I think, the more sluggish I feel. It's as though a heavy weight is pressing down on my body. Thank goodness I'm alone. If someone else had been here, I'm not sure I could have been my normal self for them. After all, I'm currently incapable of something as simple as reaching over to turn on the lights. <laughs> Soon enough, my physical discomfort is accompanied by a building sense of panic. Inexpressible in words. Uh oh, is she gonna have a panic attack? I hope not. A horrible choking sensation crawls slowly but steadily up my throat. I think she's having a panic attack. <laughs> or a heart attack! As I moan incoherently, my hands reflexively clutch at the blanket draped over my body. I squeeze my eyes tightly closed in an attempt to shut out reality. It's no good. The harder I try to repress the memory, the more clearly it rises to the surface. I know that it's the cause of my pain, but I simply can't escape that image. Perhaps it's because I'm weaker than usual after my long wait in the rain. Even as I wince the first throbbing stabs of sudden headache, an overwhelming weariness washes over my body. Just keeping my eyes open seems unbearably burdensome. Is she being monitored by any nurses, or is this just happening and no one knows about it? My field of vision grows narrower as my eyelids fall halfway closed. I can faintly hear the sound of my clenched teeth rattling in my mouth. It feels as if the temperature of the room has plunged to the point that I almost expect my breath to form white clouds before my eyes. I roughly grasp for air, panting like a dog, helplessly enduring the unceasing waves of pain. Okay, yeah, this is uncomfortable. Eventually, it becomes difficult to tell whether my eyes are open or shut. As my physical agony reaches its climax, it's joined by an unfathomably, uh, unfathomably profound sense of loss. My trembling hands creep upward, seeking reassurance that my head wasn't simply been lopped off at the neck. It's alright. That couldn't possibly have happened. I understand that rationally, but the delusion is so vivid that I can't bring myself to lower my hands. Post-traumatic stress disorder. PTSD. As a child, when I first suffered these symptoms, the doctor who examined me dispassionately offered that diagnosis. Oh! She suffers PTSD, huh? From what? A severe mental illness brought on by violent wounds to the mind, leading a persistent range of stress-related impediments. I've researched the disorder and its symptoms in great detail over the years from every source I could find. Among the many symptoms, the one I truly fear is clinically referred to as recurrent involuntary memory, more commonly known as the flashback. Uh-oh. 
If I curl my bo body into a tight ball like this, I can endure the pain and exhaustion somehow. This poor girl. But the worst of the suffering is yet to come. Normally this game is uncomfortable to go through because of all of the sexual jokes, but now it's uncomfortable just from a perspective of we're ha we having to watch this girl in agony. As I begin to imagine that moment, tears flood out of my eyes, and I shake my head from side to side like a spoiled child throwing a temper tantrum. <laughs> Lukewarm drool dribbles out of my gaping mouth as I'm racked with by dry heaves. At some point, my groans give way to convul convulsive sobs. Oof. T top tier voice acting from her actress. I feel like she should have a different sprite for this, though. She just looks mildly concerned in that sprite and not, like, having an actual violent PTSD attack. This is how it always happens. After enduring the pain, I see the dream. The memories I've tried so very hard to forget force their way into my mind, still vivid and clear after all this time. The profound darkness, buried deep within my own conscious efforts, pushes its way back to the surface. How many times have I seen this dream since that day? The mere idea of trying to count seems rather ridiculous by now. I'll never escape this nightmare, will I? Never. It'll be with me for all eternity. And the nightmare begins, as always, with two words. <laughs> Ooh, that's creepy. Oh! A certain place. Okay, this is a flashback. Oh, we're getting... We're, oh. Is this a flashback and or a dream or both? Ooh. Ooh. Where is this? Whoa! New people! Um... Oh, that's... There we go. <laughs> this is going to be a long flashback. Um... How long? <laughs> Will I be able to finish it this stream? I'm waiting for the text to appear. Yeah, now we... I can use that as the thumbnail. Are these... Who are these people? Oh, it's gotta be Sachi's parents. They look very nice. Ooh... Probably not. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm. Well, I don't want to end the stream here, so I'm gonna keep going. But we'll see. Why is the interface completely different now? The workshop was constantly filled with the clamor of industrial machines. But when I shouted out a greeting, my parents never failed to put down their work and answer. My gentle mother, who always smelled like freshly dried laundry, and my smiling father, whose face was constantly smeared with grease and oil. I love them both very much. My earliest memories from the days before I entered elementary school are all wonderfully happy. My dad was a metal worker and an engineer from Niigata, and my mom was born into a family that operated a small precision manufacturing workshop in Kanagawa. About 20 years ago, they met at a technology fair and fell in love. Soon enough, they'd started up a little factory of their own on the outskirts of this small city. Aw, that's cute. Keep, keep playing until you find a good spot for a cliffhanger. I hate giving cliffhangers. <laughs> I hate being on the receiving end of cliffhangers, so I hate being on the giving end of cliffhangers as well. <laughs> it's a reference to old times when VN text boxes weren't invented yet. Ooh. Interesting. Hmm. I was born shortly, there shortly thereafter, completing an intimate little family of three. How cute. <laughs> Oof. Uh-oh. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> Doggone, I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or not in Twitch chat. It's just text. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Boom. Good dad. The orders placed at that freshly established workshop tended to be small in scale, and its track record couldn't have been called excellent even as polite flattery. The primary cause? My parents prioritized their newborn child above all else, frequently missing important deadlines for my sake. I'd say that's a good thing. No, that's good. That shows where their heart really is. But despite their inconsistent job performance, their character won respect and affection. Our young family was able to get by thanks to the support of others. Aww. 
<laughs> a certain place. Here's the fane, though. Sachi lives with her aunt and uncle in the, in the present time. So something's gonna happen here. <laughs> Oh, uh, there's something weird about like a little girl saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Even once I got a little bigger, I spent, still spent lots of time with my parents. Especially in the evenings, I'd always pull at my mom's hand to beg her to go shopping with me. She's got a very soothing voice. <laughs> <laughs> Little Sachi was a badass. She's like, I want to eat shark. <laughs> you can, but I, I haven't seen that at the supermarket recently. <laughs> Oh my gosh, is that a reference to the shark pouch that she made for Michiru? <laughs> uh oh. Aw, <laughs> this is cute. <laughs> Thinking back on it now, our household was definitely on the poor side. You could count on one hand the number of times per year a real treat of a meal graced our dinner table. That's the problems of owning your own small business. But mom's cooking was always delicious anyway, and more importantly, I loved the feeling of her soft, warm hand wrapping around mine. Fortunately, the adults around, around us watched over our family with warm gazes and small acts of kindness. Oh, dang! Shopkeepers giving freebies, and not do it, and they don't even need to do it the Amine way. Aww. Yeah, yeah. うちも駅向こうに出たスーパーのせいで大変なんだが。小峰さんには変わらず平気にしてもらってるからね。ああ。ありがとうございます。おじさん、いつもお待ちしてくれてありがとう。お、その年でちゃんとお礼が言えれた
場の機械を触ってるよりもお人形さんと遊んでる方が楽しいもんうーんやっぱりそうかサチは女の子だもんな It's true. うんサチは大きくなったらお母さんみたいなお母さんになるのあ、oh, that's cute サチ<笑>サチは嬉しいこと言ってくれるな。じゃあ、おもちゃのお人形さんを作っていた。お父さんの親戚の家の話をしてあげよう。うん、<�ughs> お人形さんの話だったら、サチ聞きたい。<laughs> you might lose some fingers, but you'll also learn some lessons. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> Dad's stories were almost always connected to his job somehow. Even so, it was fun to hear about new things, and I was in awe of him for knowing all that super complicated stuff. But what always impressed me more than anything else was his amazing handiness. Ever heard of Handy Manny before? Well, Handy Manny was inspired by Sachi's dad. <laughs> wow! <laughs> okay, this. <laughs> This goes this goes beyond the normal realm of like oh he's handy and more and like he can make his own toys. <laughs> oh yeah, Sachi did engrave names on the soprano recorders. That's a nice call forward or callback. That's really cool. Oh, that's true. Handy Manny was a Bob the Builder ripoff. Bob the Builder was inspired by Sachi's dad. <laughs> Even though Bob the Builder predates this game by quite a few years. Dad loved playing with machines from a very young age, so he could repair almost anything. Because of that, the things he bought we bought tended to last much longer than they would normally, and I always thought of him as some kind of wizard. <laughs> You're a wizard, Komuna. <laughs> これはオルゴールって言うんだ。オルゴール。この箱を開けるとね、音が鳴るような仕掛けになっているの。へえ、そうなんだ。サチはオルゴールを見るの初めてだったかしら。うん。それにね、なんだかすごく素敵な音がした
サチもっと大きくなれるようにたくさん牛乳飲む From that day forth, the sound of that music box became a familiar part of my life. The gentle melody that accompanied our family gatherings felt almost like a symbol of happiness itself. I've always, I'd always understood that Dad loved me just as much as Mom, although he was often busy with work. And since I happened to love him very much myself, I had a habit of begging him to play with me on the weekends. Oh, <laughs> Gotta take advantage of those weekends. So, Dana. Jacua, Oto Santo, go in the Catchiboro, Sioka. Catchiboro? Yo, she's all. So, Stara, Coconi Megacate. The only reason they're showing us this much detail of Sachi's past is so they can pull our hearts out when the terrible thing happens, isn't it? Oh,うまいじゃないか、サチ。初めてでここまでできるなんてすごいぞ。本当。ああ、お父さんは運動ダメだったけど。<laughs> <laughs> Guess what? You don't have to be good at sports if you have a lucrative job. <laughs> I think Dad probably wanted a boy. Not that he ever came out and admitted it, of course. But when he watched me tossing a baseball around or playing soccer, his eyes were livelier than usual. Once I caught on, I started begging him to play with me, even on weekdays, eager to see that happy expression on his face. Aww. But of course, Dad had his work to take care of, so he couldn't tag along every time. As a result, I sometimes had too much time on my hands. One particularly dull afternoon, I decided on a total whim to imitate Mom and clean the floor of the workshop. And when I did... Think of this like Disney. Some sweet and adorable happens, and then the darkness, happiness, murder for a while, and then it goes happy again. <laughs> yeah! This just had, this is just a lot more adult than most Disney movies. <laughs> if your kid ever starts voluntarily cleaning on their own, you, you get down on that and you'd be like, yes, this is the best, yes, <laughs> and you encourage that. And that's, that's, I bet you this is part of the reason why she likes cleaning so much in the present, or why she wants to clean stuff for everyone. Turn off the leaf! <laughs> As my parents showered me in compliments, almost like the time I brought home the first prize for a picture I'd drawn in kindergarten, I blushed with joy. Their initial reaction was surprising enough, but after work that day, both mom and dad came outside to play with me. Mr. Komuna may have uh, been teaching her sports. それより、二人とも少しは手加減してくれ。こっちの体力が持たないよ。だね。今日はさっきお母さんと一緒にお母さんにやっつけるんだもん。おっと、おの。だね。倒しましょうか。おいおい、勘弁してくれよ。<笑
もうすぐ片付くからせめて着替える時間くらいは待ってくれよサチダメだよ早くしないと砂場が他の人に占領されちゃうんだからもうサチって。<笑> And sure enough, whenever I cleaned up for them, my parents would emerge from their workshop with resigned smiles on their faces. After witnessing that same scene play out countless times, I'm sure the neighbors had me down for a as a slightly spoiled little tomboy. Not that I had noticed at the time, so caught up in every precious moment. Back then, my world consisted of nothing but the things before my eyes, the places my short legs could carry me, and it was more than enough. But eventually, my way of thinking did undergo a clear change. That day, a little while into my first year of elementary school, I proudly brought home my first perfect test. He's, they're like, oh yeah. <laughs> Give him some time. <laughs> Uh oh. Was this a case of she was a bad student before this time? <笑>いくらなんでもそれは驚きすぎですよ。そうだよ、お父さん。いやいや、決してそんなことはないぞ。お父さんも何度か100点は取ったことがあるが、算数のテストで取ったことはなかった。うまふまふ、ain't that tricky? You're like a machinist. Is that a word? You, like, <laughs> you work with machines for a living. You, you need some math for that. So, yeah. Today, At the time, I was a very simple person. Being praised makes me happy. When I do well on tests, mom and dad are really nice. And the food at dinner gets better, too. <laughs> Just like in real life. In that case, I'm going to get some good scores every time. Having reached that conclusion, I shifted my efforts to my studies. I always listened carefully in school, and at home, I'd voluntarily head off to my desk and pore over my books. <laughs> The harder I tried, the more my parents complimented me. The more effort I put in, the wider their smiles on their faces. That was all there was to it. But simple as I was, that was more than enough to motivate me. As I focused on that clear objective, my grade soared with astonishing swiftness. Uh oh, we're going back to the certain place. What's happening now? We still have the happy music, though. Huh? <laughs> Dad is a dangerous thing to offer as a parent or as anybody. <laughs> We're going to Disney World. <laughs> That's all you need, praise and sushi. Those were my true feelings. Of course, sometimes I did look at the pretty new clothes my friends wore and feel a little envious. And I sort of wanted to visit those fancy amusement parks that they talked about on TV, too. But when I went home after school, mom and dad were always waiting. The music box played its beautiful song in the background, and the people I loved had smiles on their faces. That was more than enough for me. But those tranquil days didn't last forever. One day, word got out that dad's family had received a contract for grinding lenses that would be used on a space shuttle, leading to media interest in a TV interview. We contributed intricate metal molds that were now valuable manufacturing assets, 
With a sudden burst of publicity, a few major orders started trickling down to our workshop as well. <laughs> I want to go to Japanese Disneyland. I've heard Japanese Disneyland is pretty cool. Dad had always been skilled, and now he had the chance to prove it. In the blink of an eye, rumors were spreading about the high-quality precision dyes our workshop produced. Before we knew it, our little branch of the business was flooded with more orders than even his parents' workshop. A year or so after these events, my life had changed dramatically. 